Dr. Suachla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. What are the abnormalities of the female reproductive tract and how can they cause uh, infertility? Let's try to decode this question. Well, these defects of the female reproductive tract are called as Mullerian defect. Like any other organ of the body, a woman's reproductive organs take shape when she is um, still a fetus inside the mother's uterus. These organs include the uterus, the fallopian tubes, which develop from two ducts known as Mullerian ducts. Now, during normal development, these ducts come together. When this happens, a single uterus with an open cavity and two fallopian tubes on either side are formed. Sometimes the uterus and the fallopian tubes may not form like they should. These malformations are called Mullerian anomalies or defects. Now, these Mullerian anomalies may make it difficult or impossible for some women to get pregnant. Let's try to see what are the types of Mullerian anomalies. There are uh, many, but the most common types of Mullerian anomalies are Mullerian agenesis, which is the failure to form a uterus and fallopian tubes, disorders of fusion, which occur when the Mullerian ducts fail to come together correctly. Often kidney problems develop in women with Mullerian abnormalities, mainly because the kidney develop next to the Mullerian system. So what causes Mullerian agenesis? Mullerian agenesis happens with the uterus, cervix, cervix is the opening of the uterus and the upper vagina do not develop correctly at all. Instead, there is a small vaginal opening or a small kind of a dimple. Women with this disorder have normal ovaries and will have normal development of breast, clitoris, it's the part of the vulva and external genitalia. A woman is usually unaware that she has this problem until she is older. The main symptoms are the absence of periods or when there is pain when, there are, when she's attempting sexual intercourse. Now, a woman with this problem can sometimes have surgery to enlarge the vagina. The good news is that since women with this issue have ovaries that produce eggs, she can have children but will need to use IVF and gestational carrier also called as surrogacy. So what are the types of Mullerian duct fusion disorders which can cause infertility? A complete duplication of the uterus can sometimes be seen. In this situation, a woman has two uteri, cervices and vaginas. A bicornuate uterus in which two uteri share a single cervix and a vagina. This can cause painful periods if the cervix does not allow blood to flow through and can be corrected with surgery. A septate uterus. In this situation, there is a fibrous band of tissue growing through the uterus. A doctor can remove this fibrous band through a, a minimally invasive procedure known as hysteroscopy. Then there is the arcuate uterus, which means there is a dent on the top of the uterus. This situation does not cause any problems with pregnancy. How do Mullerian duct fusion disorders impact a woman's ability to get pregnant? Women with fusion disorders have ovaries that function normally, so they develop breasts they develop external genitalia, pubic hair, and can also get pregnant. In addition, they experience no physical discomfort or difficulties engaging in sexual intercourse due to their internal abnormalities. However, women with fusion disorders are more likely to have miscarriages and preterm births. Difficulties with pregnancy uh, depend on the specific fusion disorder present. The only way to diagnose a fusion disorder is through ultrasound or an MRI. It is uh, nothing but a magnetic resonance imaging or a surgical procedure. If you wish to understand more, you've been diagnosed with uh, Mullerian uh, disorders or uh, some uh, malformation in your uterus and you want to understand your chances of pregnancy, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.